What is the alternative then if uh, no IMF and uh, no loan? Uh, we need to be able to, as, as, as a country, we need to be able to look at other means and other methods for us to be able to grow our economy. One of the things that the EFF has put in place for everybody and in public is the issue of the expropriation of land without compensation. Because most of our young people and our, the unemployed youth in our country, they've got creative and business ideas that they would like to put in our locations where we live or in town. But unfortunately, they don't have the ability to be able to find a space to start whatever business that they can be able to do. You find that there's a group of young women who are very good in textile and in, 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 in sewing, but unfortunately they don't have a space to be able to have a, to build a warehouse or to build maybe a, a place for them to be able to do that. So for us is to be able to look at other means and that will be able to put us in a good condition to be able to control our means of production and our resource in our country. Uh, so are you saying that these loans to the country have not benefited the citizens in the country specifically for what these loans have been taken for? As, yes, because lastly, you remember just a few years ago, uh, during the COVID and with the COVID relief, uh, there was loans that were taken. But right now, look at us, we are investigating the PPE saga and we don't even know if, who benefited from those uh, uh, loans at this moment, but money was taken and it's nowhere to be seen at this moment. And if you look in a few years ago when these loans were taken, there were conditions in, in, in them so that those conditions, some of them is to be able to that they need to to reduce in other services in the country and those services are mainly services that are benefiting our public and are benefiting the poor in terms of uh, 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 education and public health and in policing because what kind of a government that goes and take a loan but that loan says that you cannot be able to build universities to be able to have engineers in your country or to build universities that you're going to uh, have agriculture colleges and universities but you still take the loan because you need to invest in the youth of the country so that they can come and be able to empower and grow the economy so it's 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 it's, it's not okay how does then the government ensure that these loans are directed to some of the initiatives that you speak about particularly uh, education and also to impact the unemployment in this country how do you propose the minister works around ensuring that when these loans do get taken, they do exactly what you just mentioned, benefit the South Africans. Uh, first of all, because in South Africa we've got a corrupt government and there is no accountability at all. Because we have seen, like I said, with the COVID uh, 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 relief loans that were taken, and where we are right now with those loans, there is investigation, there's going to be commissions regarding all of those things. So. As a government, we shouldn't actually be taking loans from these uh, imperialist institutions because they are a capitalist agenda. So we should be looking at other ways and other means. Just because the ANC government does not have a strategy or a system or a plan to grow our economy without taking the money from the World Bank, it does not necessarily mean that other people or uh, uh, other uh, 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 means in our country cannot be done. So. When a government is, is, is in place, it needs to be able to have the best interest of the people at heart. So we cannot be a, a nation that will be keep on servicing debts forever and ever. Because these debts that are taken now, we will pay them for the rest of our lives, you understand? So we need to be able to stop that. Thank you so much for your time. The Deputy Secretary General of the Economic Freedom Fighters presenting their alternative to perhaps what they're saying is no to loans and saying that uh, somewhere down the line they will adversely affect South Africa and put it into more and more debt. But